Now, Garuli in the red corner. He's a world champion in kickboxing. Um, he has fought here once before. Unfortunately, was not victorious. Um, but he did lose to Dragomir Petrov, who we've just seen defeat his opponent with some very, very crisp kickboxing indeed. Boshilov comes to us with a resume that is absolutely fantastic. 2019 Waco Pro World Champion, 2018 K1 World Champion, second place 2018 in the European Championships, um, and also second place in the 2017 World Kickboxing Championships. And he was the 2017 Waco World Cup Champion. Yeah, he comes in with a lot of experience. Not often, you know, you actually uh, see see two Southpaws in the ring together, which is a different kind of matchup. Well, Boshilov, this is his 13th, no, sorry, this will be his 14th visit to the Senshi ring, and he has won 12 out of the last 13 fights here. So, Levan Guruli has got to pull out all the stops. Levan Garuli from Georgia with the red gloves and black shorts. Atanas Boshilov fighting out of the blue corner. He's got the blue gloves and the black shorts. You can see there, Atanas, he's just trying to find his range. Whips in a beautiful round kick, misses, but you can see the power generated through his hips as he wants to take that front leg out. You can just see he's just timing his range, his distance, yeah. just finding, feeling it out. Absolutely laser focus in his uh, in his eyes there. Beautiful uppercut on the inside. Like I said, you don't you know you don't normally see it when uh, two southpaws square up. You know it's usually the other way around. A southpaw orthodox fighter, you know, making it a little bit awkward for him. So it could be even a little bit strange for himself to fight against uh, the same stance. Yeah, interesting point. You don't. Uh, you sometimes think of somebody who's orthodox having to find southpaw sparring partners, but you wouldn't think of a southpaw having to find southpaw yeah. sparring partners. Yeah. A lot of experience in the corner as well. There. Beautiful chop. Boshilov's in fantastic shape as well. Yeah, look at him unload now. Just upstairs, upstairs, distracting the head, the head, chopping that leg low. Good counter check hook, moves it, moves well, good footwork. That's a real kickboxing style, you know, he's fast on his feet, good hands, evasive. One thing about uh, that little uppercut there again. One thing about the Balkans, you know, Boshilov from Bulgaria. The Balkans here is just littered with fantastic fighters, wrestlers, MMA guys and kickboxers, as well as some brilliant Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters. Um, something uh, I don't, the West is not really um, familiar with. Yeah, well, hopefully this is going to create a good stage for them to be seen globally. As we come to the last uh, 10 seconds of the first round, not much action really in this round, except, uh, of course, you can see, you know, Bulgaria ahead. Beautiful. Yeah, Boshilov, that was a nice kick. End of the first round. I would give Atanas Boshilov that round just because he was the busier. He landed more jabs. Some interesting uh, jab, lead jab to the body as well. Yeah, when he wasn't powering up on his shots, I think he was just trying to find his range. He let a few go, but then he was looking for that sort of touch, 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 big leg kick, missed that one, but he gets one, I think, on the second exchange. Comes through. Yeah, but beautiful, beautiful boxing skills. You know, angles, upside, you know, inside. And he's not phased at all by any of that counter work from uh, Garuli. Stands there, puts his defense up and still focused. Yeah, it's high level kickboxing skill right there. And I still, after years and years and years, when I see two kickboxers, and I call it a bit of a Dutch style, where they throw a combination of punches and finish with that low kick. It's just poetry in my mind. Yeah, it's it fantastic. really is, and he does that well. 
He does that real well. So he's just peppering away. I was just Maybe he's trying to let Garuli or lead Garuli into throwing something so he can throw a big counter. Yeah. I mean, Garuli's not really putting that much pressure on. He's not doing too much. Maybe he's just trying to find his range. He's, there's a beautiful combination. There, see that what you talk, spoke about? Yep. Bam, bam, bam. Finish on the leg. Back to the action. But in a three round fight, you haven't really got time. You certainly haven't got time to wear your opponent down cardio-wise. Yeah, look at that. See, really went for a jump knee, almost got knocked out with a left hook. But he landed a right hand of his own there, which was uh, on the button. Not, no, but there's not enough power in it to do any damage. Yeah, he's trying to box well there. Hooks up or cuts. But not, not really, you know, really phasing Gorilla at all. He's getting hit, but it's not bothering me. He's still stepping forward. And look at that jab of Garuli. It's not at full range. It's not at full power. Yeah, look at that. Look at him. He just marches forward, marches forward, like trying to put that pressure and break him down. Good, good double arm, forearm guard on it. And even though a lot of these guys, they're champions in their own right, incredible champions, let me say. But you're only as good as the other guy in front of you will let you will allow you to be. You yeah, always say that, you know, it's not names that make fights, it's styles, you know, if styles match or don't match, you know, to be able to rule each other out. Yeah. Now, I, th I think I think being a Southpaw here tonight, you know, might have thrown him off a little bit. I haven't seen any of his previous fights to be able to judge, but just a uh, a guess. Well, Garuli here, he, he's come to us with a credible background, but one loss in his last century outing. The promoters must have been impressed with his heart and his performance because they brought him back. But I'd like to see him up the tempo here. He's got it all to prove against someone who's been here 13 times before. He does. <laughs> he's going to have to really prove his yeah. point tonight. But of course, you know, he's like I said, he's... He's not really phased. He hasn't been phased so far by any of the shots. He keeps moving forward. Whether he's getting hit or not, or doing too much back, he's still trying to put that pressure forward. Maybe he'll find his, maybe he'll find his punch. Well, as we approach the end of the second round, Levan Garuli, he hasn't taken a backward step. Whether he's getting hit or not getting hit, he's marched forward, marched forward, marched forward. But Atanas Boshilov, is the guy with the crisper, more effective work. Great boxing. He's thrown some lovely combinations at times, finishing with that low kick. So, yeah, he's certainly a lot busier, you know, and that's what the judges will be looking at. They'll be looking at the busyness of, you know, both fires, who's busy, who's, you know, who's doing more work, more work rate. Even though some of the shots aren't that heavy, you know, it's still sort of, you know, you know, the judge's eyes, like, okay, well, we need to separate this round somewhere. Yep. Um, how are we going to separate it? So the one who's doing a lot more work uh, is going to, you know, re receive those points. And I think the um, the right leg of Garuli, there's that low kick in the replay yeah. again. He's definitely chopped his leg quite well. Some, um, you know, un unanswered kicks there, no checks at all, just bang straight on the quad. So here we go into the third round of our fourth contest of the evening here at Senshi 16. Let's see if he puts it on the line here now. Garali, what can he pull out of the hat? Yep, third and final round. He's got one round to do it. He's got it all to do as he eats a big leg kick. It's a stiffer jab from Garuli. better, that's better work. Boshilov there, he hasn't slowed up. No, that was great. I mean, Boshilov, you just see he's just got that spring in his step, great footwork, throws the crosses, explodes the crosses off the back foot, moves around, moves all the time. He's always moving side to side, you know, back and forth, chops and moves again. Yeah, you're right. You're right there. His uh, lateral movement is great. Yeah. 
You know, he's, uh, he's he probably you knows score score. He's really he's not really a knockout fighter, I'd say. And this, especially from what I'm seeing now, it's more of a like hit hit score move score hit 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 move again. Yep. He's not staying on it and sticking there to stay around and trying to hurt the guy. But I think with some work, he could be a knockout guy. He's uh, with those combinations. Oh yeah, for sure. But you saw those punches there. They were more like rabbit little rap, little, little patty punches. Yeah. You know? There's not really like any grit. See that? Yeah. It's, again. It's more speed and real power. But he's doing a good job, you know, not getting hit, moving on the outside, staying off, keeping busy, finishing with those low kicks, just racking up the points. Halfway through the third round. Yeah, the cross then. Yep. Nice left hand there from Garuli. You know, Garuli, the older of the two, I think he's, uh, I think I saw he was like 30, 39 years old. He's in there like, yep, I can still mix it up with the, with anyone. <laughs> well, we all think that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you get into your 40s, mate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, father time catches up with everyone. But he's in there. He's fighting a super high quality opponent in uh, Boshilov. Um, he's still not taking a backward step. A, that was a nice right not hand. Not a back step, you know. He's just marching in. He's, he's trying to find his, his, his punch. He's trying to find it. Whoa, big spinning back kick. Crowd would like that one. A bit of action. I just don't think he has, you know, any punching power to really finish the fight this far out in this deep into the fight. So uh, more than likely we're going to see a... Scorecard decision, which I give it three rounds, of course. Yep, as we approach the end of the third and final round here of our fourth contest of the evening, Levan Garuli and Atanas Boshilov. And the Boshilov. final bell goes. Boshilov with another win. And I think in his 14th Senshi outing, he's going to go away with his 13th win, win here. I mean, that's a pretty good winning streak right there. Definitely a household favourite. I mean, he put some great numbers together. You saw there, ra -da 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 -da, you know, rapid, fast, speed punches. But nothing really behind it, you know, to bother uh, Guri at all, you know, so. I'll be, I'll be fascinated if they bring him back on the next event on Century 17, who he gets matched up with. Um... How's he going to react under pressure? Because yeah. another another aggressive, busy fighter that might bring out saw, the best you know, of it. Gorilla was had the pressure, but he just didn't have the work rate. You know, he was pressing forward, but Ladies he wasn't really doing a lot. He was, yeah. a winner. He was looking for his opening, but Joshua he couldn't, just wasn't the there. couldn't find it yet. 30, 30. Judge 2 scores the fight, 27, 30. Judge 3 scores the fight, 27, 30 for the winner by a majority yeah, the decision in the blue corner. Atanas Bujir yep. from Bulgaria. As expected, another win in the books. The Local the fighter. And as you can hear, the Bulgarian fight fans pleased at the outcome of that one. Boshilov there. Every fighter tonight winning a belt. Yeah, I mean, they're such beautiful belts. I'm like... Man, <laughs> where, where was I when those belts were getting handed out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're getting a trophy. Uh, I remember getting a trophy like that before. They used to be the, the Japanese-style trophies. They were so big. You'd be like, how am I going to bring this back uh, home? How you get on home there? on the plane? How yeah. am I going to bring this back on the plane? You're walking through the airport, there's a massive yeah. trophy, and you end up, does someone want this? You know, I'm going to give it to someone. Well, I, I remember they used to give out samurai swords and, and, and stuff, and there's no way you could take it back <laughs> to security. <laughs> no. Uh so there we see it, sportsmanship and yeah. respect at the end of a hard-fought battle. That's what we like to see. True martial artists. You know, it was a good, good, good match. Nothing, you know, out of this, out of the world special, but you know, overall, a good match-up, a good fight. You know, a good set of skills showing.